Okay, today is Dad's birthday. Whoopee! <laughs> and we're getting ready to weld, tack weld one of the tabs for the ladder bar slash coil over in the place so we can start figuring out where we're going to mount this thing. We set the rear end onto the jig today. We did not get any further than just setting it on. Our next step is to cut part of the arms off there so we can get the tire on and get the rear end centered with the body. But that is where we are at right now. Got the pinion angle pretty close to where it's going to be, but we're going to double check it before we hold the rear end in place to build the ladder bars and the coil over brackets. But it's going to be kind of a tight fit up in there. We'll get it figured out. We finally have the rear end in the position we want. Left and right, front to back, up and down. We're going to make some brackets come off the frame there, and then we're going to Partially weld them on the housing just to hold everything in place so we can build the ladder bars and get the rear coilovers mounted as well. We lightly welded these pieces to the rear end and then up to the frame after we had the rear end sitting right where we wanted it with the pinion angle and everything. So now the rear end is just suspended by these pieces of metal here. Then we went down to pick and pull and got a drive shaft out of a Chevy S10, shortened it so it would fit in there so we can work around where the drive shaft is going to be when we put our cross member in, drive shaft loop, etc. So that is where we are now at. Next we can start, when you figure out where we're going to set the ladder bars, do some math and geometry and stuff on that where we want the front of them to sit and then we'll have metal our cross member in and then make the ladder bars. We originally bought a chassis engineering cross member to hold up the uh, front of the ladder bars but the cross member was only 80 thousandths thick and we wanted 8th inch wool so we ended up making our own. It's, it's not a curved piece but it's we cut the angles on it and we are now in the process of starting to weld it together. We got it already set to the right width with a three inch drop in the middle. So we're gonna go ahead and get her welded up. Okay, still drilling holes. One more on each side. Yeah. All right, here's where we are at on the cross member where the ladder bar brackets are gonna be mounted. We have all the holes cut out all the way through. And we are going to use some DOM tubing to go in there and add strength to the holes so it won't crush. And it should actually be stronger than if we didn't drill it at all. So our next step is to cut out the tube to the right length, put them in there and weld them up and grind them back down. Here is the cross member we have made up for the ladder bar supports. We got the tubes welded in, all ground down. And the next step is to weld the brackets for the ladder bar onto this. And then we can weld this in the car to the frame. See our support tubes that run through it. Alright, we have got the outer brackets welded on for the ladder bars. Twenty-seven and five eighths from outside to outside. Same as the rear end. 
Next step, gotta weld underneath there and then mount the inner brackets on and that should be ready to put in the car. We got the ladder bar brackets completely welded on. Inner and outer. Obviously couldn't weld down inside on that one because this one's in the way. But that one got welded inside. Welded up as much as we could. Put those all on. Next step is to weld it in the car. Alright, we got the cross member set in place, clamped up, squared up to the frame for our ladder bars. Next step, we're going to weld her down. We got about four and a half, five inches back from the U-joint to where the cross member is and we'll have our drive shaft loop made off the cross member there. And we are working on the cross member for the uh, body mount just in front of the rear end. These are some tubes that will be going through that cross member. And as you can see we have welded in some washers there. The bolt will go through here so you will not see the bolt hanging down below the frame of the car when we tighten the body up to the frame for that particular cross member. Alright, here is that cross member. It's been cut to size. Got five holes in it. These tubes will be going in each of those holes. Roll it in. And these tubes that I was talking about right here will weld in here. And the bolt, this will be cut off flush after we get done grinding down the weld. They will go in there and you will not see the bolt or anything sticking down below this cross member. Third, I forgot to take a picture of the finished cross member, but we went ahead and got it tacked in. Since we're in kind of cramped quarters here, we did a real thin washer there so the cross member would rest on top of the frame. Did that on both sides so it was even and then we just squared it up right there, made it perpendicular. And then uh, here's the uh, where the bolt holes will go. Let's see if you can see here. Yeah, right there. Bolt hole right there, the nut will come down. Socket will go in there so it'll all be hidden. You won't see any of it. Did that on both sides. There's the front of it. Show you a better picture after we get the body back off of it. All right, that's gonna do it for this update on the Studebaker. As you can see, progress is coming uh, slowly but surely. Uh, it just takes a lot of time fabbing everything up on this thing. So uh, we're continuing to plug on and uh, making more progress every day, every week. So uh, keep watching, and as always, please like and subscribe.